and he will sit there and he'll, he'll put all the hands in his head. Has he got a big ace? Has he got a big pair? Would he have really re-raised me all in with a big pair there? If he had jacks, queens, kings, aces, would he have done that? And that's what he'd be asking himself. If Ryan puts him on a big ace, like an ace queen or an ace jack or an ace king or whatever, he could take the race and try oh. and win it. That's going to be a tough fold, this one. She trapped me with a big ace. It's 260 yards. Your pair? Yeah. You're in good shape, man. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly it. Ashby knows. <sighs> and it, it's just a situation. I mean, Ashby was waiting for something to re-raise him with. Uh, pocket pair is good enough most of the time. Heads up, great yeah. fish. Yeah, of course. That's it's just whatever he wanted, to, what he put him, uh, put him on. But let's not forget, if Fronda does win this, Jesse, it's not over. There's still another 34,000 chips that Ashby has behind. So Fronda has to win this to stay in now. It's not over if he wins this. Not yet. And the flop is kind. It's Queen Jack 3. And um, Ashby needs a 6 and Fronda's dodging it. He got the clubs as well. Oh, well, it's a 6! That's sick. That is just unbelievable. But we've got clubs here as well. Fronda's got a, the 8 of clubs. Any club what doesn't pair the ball, Fronda wins this. Come on, a club. Get in now. Get in now! Oh, I'm not very good. You got a flush. No, no. <coughs> That's it. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, that was something. <laughs> you know, these guys are very important. I thought the clubs, I knew the you six of what, clubs come. I've been done so you many a, times. Gives you a flush draw, I knew that was going to They've both played some super oh, I'm poker. sorry, uh, Ashby's going to be looking back thinking, Greek fish, you plonker, why'd you do that? But I'm just pleased to see Ryan actually get a little bit lucky. And let's not forget you had the best damn pre-flop. Okay, one, two, two, forty, two, fifty. Pair over pair. Very tough for either to get away, although Ashby got the chips in first. The six on the turn looked like the savior, but the club on the river, Greek fish, makes the flush. Yeah, well, uh, I, I think there's a little bit of justice there. You know, I'm not being biased. Well, not a lot anyway, but, I've, you know, you had the best stand, and um, you got unlucky, then got re-lucky, and, um, yeah, good luck to him. It's, it's an any two situation now. Yeah, there's no need to look. Yeah, the and uh, I would say Ashby's got a better hand than 10 high. <laughs> oh, he's got much the King Jack. Don't know how much is. 34. Right, if Ashby wins this, it'll be 68,000. So um, it's a lot better than 34,000. Yeah, 67% for 68,000. So Ashby's in great shape for, uh, you know, for a double up here. And there's the king. Well, there's the straight draw. Oh. And now, oh, he's yeah. open-ended from the rear. So this is going to be a pretty <laughs> right, sick way to outdraw him if a jack comes. But a six will probably end it here. Well, oh, you well <laughs> now, there's still, there's still no change really, it's Jesse. Now, Fronda needs six. a ten, a six, or a jack. Oh, oh he's hit it. Oh, well played. Is it it, Jesse? Well, it's all over. <laughs> he no. certainly has. <laughs> Go on the Ryan machine. And uh, we have a winner. Fronda. Ryan Fronda has took this down. <sighs> and uh, unlucky Richard Ashby. Oh, you played a great nice. game. Sick. Well, so it was sick. written in the stars tonight. Couldn't have really divide him in a heads up. But Fronda has just seen like... It he's just shows you, Jesse, what, what, what I'm curious about. That little bit of luck. I mean, he's got lucky. He got really lucky with the eights, and he's got lucky on the, with the straight there. You need that little bit of luck to win these heats, no matter how good you play. Well, if it comes down to who tried the hardest, it was the right two at the end. But, Ryan Fronda, congratulations. I mean, I know how much you wanted this, and you just went after it in the beginning. Yeah, I think I played quite well, yeah. I, I definitely wanted to uh, do well in this particular heat, yeah, for sure. Richard, commiserations, but well played. I mean, between you and Ryan, you guys were in, like, every pot the first couple of levels. Yeah, I suppose I started off quite fast there. I wanted to try and get some chips. Um, I thought they were playing quite tight, a few of the players, so. And then, uh, heads up, there really wasn't much in it. You guys just seemed very stalemated. No, I mean, in, in hindsight, I, I perhaps should have tried to play more flops, because I think I was more comfortable playing flops and rather than push with the sixes there, but... I can't complain because I got lucky when we were three-handed, so... I mean, Ryan, you, you keep threatening to give up TV poker, but now you're through to the semis. Well, it's only because of the ten of clubs. <laughs> if the ten of clubs doesn't come on the river, I'm, I'm finished. It finishes me off, I think. But it's great. I mean, it's really good. I didn't, To be honest, I didn't really want to play Rich heads up in this particular situation. He's so comfortable online, and 
got a lot of respect for him, so it was, it was good. It was good, and I, was, I got lucky at the end, and he got lucky, I got lucky. It's the way it goes. It is Ryan Fronda, the first man into that second semifinal. We'll be seeing Richard Ashby again. Remember, there's still 576000 in the prize pool to play for. Next time, a former boxing champion will try to put paid to the Greek fish. One, two, one, two, Jesse May, Jesse May, one, two. London could be burning here on the PartyPoker.com World Open Forum.